What's going down everybody and welcome back to the Altered Art Tutorial Playlist. If you haven't checked out the rest of the playlist on supplies, paints, brushes, lighting, base coating, make sure you check it out because today what we're actually looking at is a few cards of mine that I think will help demonstrate how you can improve your altars. Five ways in fact that I think that you can improve your altars more than doing any other things once you've acquired some paints and some brushes and, ha and have had some some time to do some altars and have some practice. So our first card today is a card that I did quite a while ago. This is a long time ago for me. This is a Japanese command tower and the background's been swapped. You can see background is no longer dark. There's no lightning and swirly things or whatever. It's snow. There's snow on the ground. There's snow everywhere. And this is a fine altar. This is good. This is this is fine for me to play in my deck for the last little while, but you can see right around the edges, you can see right there, right here, right up here. It's not quite as clean as something that I would do today. And that's tip number one, clean your work. Nothing says unprofessional like rough edges, and something that looks like it was just scraped together, thrown together, smashed onto a card. Nothing says professional like clean, crisp lines, defined edges. And for anybody who's using these tutorials or starting their own artist page or trying to pick up commissions and, and make some money to do this, whether it be full time or just as a way to make spare cash or, or to finance your Magic the Gathering hobby or addiction, this is the kind of thing that people pay for. And, and this is the kind of thing that really takes time to make your altars look professional. Clean your edges. That's the first one. Clean up, clean up, clean up. Moving on to our second point, I talked about cleanup, I talked about taking time, here's our next card, and this was one that I did a while ago, and again, it's a fine altar, it's very clean around the name line, let's call this, or just the name of the card, it looks good, paint matching around here is good, it's fairly clean around the text box, but where this altar is lacking is I didn't spend the time to continue to do the white and, and the little bit of snow drifts that you can see there's maybe a little bit of blue or purple in right here. I didn't do this all the way to the edges and I didn't, here I did a little bit, but I didn't go down and make any snow drifts or anything. And my altars now, now that I do this full time, as opposed to just as a hobby when I did this card, I didn't do to the very bottoms of cards when I did light colored foregrounds. Take the time to do that. Again, the time spent to do an altar or any work of art is, well, I think, a lot of the times what separates a professional looking piece from a hobby piece or a student piece or an amateur piece. And not that being an amateur is bad, but again, if you are trying to get better and maybe pick up commissions, make a name for yourself in this hobby, in this little, this little micro industry, something like this where it goes all the way around the bottom is going to be something that sets your work apart. So I think that that is our number two. For our number three hint, I'm going to use a new card and this is, I'm going to call it see your altar through somebody else's eyes. And here's our card. This is a card that I did a little while ago and I think that it's good, but after I took a picture of the card and after I got my wife to look at the card, I thought and she agreed with me that the card, the piece didn't quite look finished. There's maybe not enough differentiation from dark to light on this tree. I've got a light or, or, or a light source coming from this way. So this side is shadowed, but there's not enough mid-tone in here. And there is lots of green here and here, I think, and maybe here that could be filled up with more branches, more sticks, more little flower blossoms, and I think, again, it goes back to time. I didn't spend enough time on this piece, but more so I didn't notice that because the piece was very time consuming. I didn't notice until I looked at it through the lens of a camera, the lens of my camera phone. I didn't notice that the piece wasn't air quotes done 
until my wife told me that it looks like it's lacking a little bit and she wasn't she she wasn't critiquing the piece or she wasn't judging the the merits of 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 how good the piece was the quality of the piece but she said it looks like it could use more see your piece through somebody else's eyes and that's why art critiques exist that's why when 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 you're part of an art class you look at each other's work and you talk about it what were you thinking with this and and how what are those brush strokes doing for the painting that kind of stuff for tip number three i'm going to use the same card we're going to stick with this same card and that is go back to your altars go back to a piece or go back to a certain style this cherry blossom on on greenish background is is a style that i've done multiple times i've done something similar to this on soul rings this was maybe my second or third attempt at this piece and since then i've done two or three more in this style where there's a branch that comes up from an unforeseen or an unseen tree off of off of camera let's call it and and we're looking at a branch and there's a solid background this background you can't tell but it does have it does have some metallic gold and silver paint in it so it does sheen a bit in the light that was an addition that i made after the first piece i have since when i do a piece like this add the tiniest smallest little little I don't even remember what they're called um, stamens pistols that come off of the flower and I've even added little yellow dots on the end of them so when I revisit this piece because that's ultimately where this video is going when I revisit this piece you're going to see this is going to have a lot more detail on it go back to it even when you think a piece is done or even when you've when you think you've explored a style enough to be happy with where you're at go back to it and try it again try it again try it again okay and our final tip our fifth tip for the day is don't be scared don't be scared to uh, i'll say air quotes ruin a card now that doesn't mean just start with taigas and mox diamonds when you're when you're first learning how to do alterations or when you're learning to paint Experiment with cards that do have less value or cards that might not be on the reserved list, let's say. Maybe you want to start with a, a command tower because those go in every commander deck or soul ring, for example, right? But don't be scared to challenge yourself. This card was a challenge for me when I did it because I blended a very light colored sky background. This card was a challenge for me because it did require a ton of really tight, cleaning work on an older card older card stock some older card stock isn't quite as durable as newer card stock smoother card stock so i had to be very careful and precise even prior to starting my cleanup remember that things are fixable like like the little cleaning touch-ups here or if you don't like any portion of a card or if you want to change something most things are fixable Paint can be removed, paint can be painted over, 2,000 grit sandpaper exists. You build confidence when you challenge yourself and succeed. So those are five of my tips, my first five tips, because I'm going to come back to this with other tips that I think are going to be really beneficial to the new or intermediate magic card alterists. If you want to see more, don't forget to check out everything else on the playlist. You can hit me up through the Facebook page or on Twitter or through the Patreon Discord if you're interested in commissions or asking questions about alters in general. See you guys next time.